Hey guys, I'm outside St. Augustine Church. Julia Roberts got married here in the movie Steel Magnolias. Let's go check out what Dr. Watt has to say. We're back on airway and mouth breathing and breathing through your nose and different things like that. Uh, I'm going to try to cover what does mouth breathing do to you. And it's uh, so complicated that I don't know that I can cover it in one of these little short videos. It may take longer to do that. So we told you about what it did to these monkeys. You, you block, block their nose where they can't breathe and it makes their facial structure grow into some hideous malformed facial structure and total mouth breathing to a human will do a very similar thing to that human. So you say, well, how can breathing through your mouth change your facial structure? Well, if you breathe through your mouth, you have to breathe over the top, the top of your tongue. So normally when you're breathing through your nose, your tongue is kind of wadded up in your mouth and is up in the palate and it keeps pressure on the palate, pushing it out. You say, how can the tongue push the palate out? Well, if you don't have a tongue, your palate and your whole structure shrinks up. I had a sad situation several years ago when a lady came into me, she was very happy and everything. She wrote me a note, said I had beautiful straight teeth when I was 69, but I got cancer of the tongue and they took my tongue out and the tongue has not been there for that length of time and they didn't put anything back in there to hold the teeth and all of her teeth began to shrink up toward the inside of the mouth. So that's what the tongue keeps the shape of the, of the mouth and everything. So when you breathe through your mouth, your tongue is in the bottom part of your mouth. So I've had people where their lower arch spread out and their upper teeth would drop inside the uh, lower teeth, which they need to be on the other side. Now, there's nothing going up in the tongue and in the palate to keep it spread out and you'll have a little narrow palate and it'll come together and you'll have cross bites or total cross bites and all sorts of things develop up there. And then, in addition, your tongue is in the bottom of your mouth people swallow an infantile swallow pattern where they don't bite when they swallow. Now, you're out there looking at this, you think that's a bunch of bull, but you try, if you breathe through your nose, try to swallow and not bite your teeth together. I'll bet you can't even do it, you see. Now, people who breathe through their mouth all the time are tongue thrusters, they can swallow without biting their teeth together. Now, I'll swallow without doing that. I've shown people so much, but I can put my tongue here and swallow like that. And you'll see those people activate their lips and they, the lips are not to do anything if you swallow properly. You'll I swallow and you don't see anything going on with my lips. Now this gets kind of complicated. It's hard to cover in about two or three minutes. You can't really adequate, adequately do it. But this is what happens. If you don't swallow correctly and you swallow about 2,000 times a day and you bite your teeth together with a certain amount of pressure, say one or two pounds, and you say 2,000 times uh, during the day, you your teeth have resisted tons of force. So they know they have come down far enough when the amount of force they resist is such so great. If the teeth, if you don't swallow and press your teeth together all during the day and night, then your teeth think they haven't come in your mouth far enough so they grow, they don't grow, they just drift further and further together. And it will go to the point where they will come down a half inch further and your face will come down. There's a, a kid on record that 
couldn't swallow at all, you know, couldn't swallow properly. And he grew up with his mouth wide open, a hideous guy, I mean, had a facial structure. And you add another half inch to your face, just go look in the mirror and look what you look, see what you look like with another half inch of lower facial height in here. You will look ter terrible, really. And I've taken people and tried to lower their vertical, and it is hard to do. You have to do a lot of, of uh, surgical stuff to do that. So it is very important if you've got children that you get their functional things corrected early on or else you will have a facial structure that you might need to come back. Now I've gone in with the surgeons and operated on people that had these high angle cases and their chin and their back like this and we took their maxilla, the whole thing, loose and took about a half inch off of it and put it up and attached it back and it grows back and they live, thank God, you you say thank God for uh, somebody that's taking care of you after you get through with it uh, and you can change the whole facial structure somebody. But then you, you develop a person there that you're going to have to do this oral maxillofacial surgery on and God, it's so expensive you can't imagine. I mean, either forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars to get your facial structure. So try to prevent it. In other words, you see your kid breathing constantly through their mouth. Do something about it. Get their airway opened, and then do the things that we're going to try to talk about. Some of these things that you can do to uh, to get them restored to uh, normal function like that. Uh, it is a shame to grow up with this problem. Now there are lots of different amounts of people who breathe just a little bit or then they breathe a lot or people that have terrible allergies and have to breathe through their mouth. But if they go to try to stop doing or have as much uh, reduction in this as you possibly can. But mouth breathing is bad for you, man. And if you've got kids that are doing it, do something about it. Get them to an ENT person that'll know how to take tonsils out or clear up the airway. Do as much as you can on allergies as you possibly can and filter the air they get. Change the filters in the house. Do everything you possibly can to try to breathe properly. It is a very important thing, not just some of these things that we're going to, that we've mentioned, and we'll mention some more of them later on, but I'll tell you, it's just scratching the surface what I'm telling you now on airway and breathing and the importance of it in your life. Uh, I'm so glad to, to pass this uh, information on to people, and these things go all over the world, and it'll help people wherever they do this, that's what we're concerned about.